Junkin' Pool, welcome to Poorville. A little bit of a load on here, not too much, but all adds up. We'll take a look and see what we got. So we had three small pickups, and we got rid of the one wood stove we had sitting out here we picked up from a job, and ended up doing a, doing a swap for some Home Depot paint. The guy had a gift card, so we got some paint, and that was actually um, some that somebody got, and it was the wrong color, and it was pretty close to what we were looking for, so 10 bucks a gallon. That's a paint and primer. And what else did we get here? We got some foam. Had a $48 gift card. And we just picked up stuff we used quite a bit. Duct tape. Metal uh, nail pouch. And they got me a decent knife. I got a bunch of them around. Been out in the rain, rusted. So that was like 14 bucks. But I was just trying to make it. So I didn't have to go back with $2 on their card. And I got a bunch of free paint sticks, steers. I'm going to keep this inside because it's cold out here today. And I don't know if I got anything else or not, but I got my glasses out of there. So yeah, we did three stops and we picked up the first, most of the stuff. The whole wall furnace here. And, um miscellaneous drop seal ceiling brackets got some sump pumps oh safe here it's pretty heavy I can't flip with one hand I'm not sure what this thing is and get a refrigerator there microwave we picked up on the way home there's a stove stove under there and a side-by-side -side there they said a thousand dollars to fix that stove no bed frame there I don't think I said that yet that will probably keep just because it's really old we'll put that in the old building over there paint it up fix it up maybe so yeah it's hanging off the tailgate a little bit I just get get around and have a bowl of soup for lunch and take it to the yard cut the cord off when I get to the yard and there's some brass on the back of that stove that stove looks pretty rough right here's got a big old dent in it ain't nothing I really want to try to resell I got a few of them around got some on back that are in better shape it's supposed to work I don't know about these ones I know that big one don't work that'd be nice if it did but if it did they wouldn't be getting rid of it and that microwave we just picked up on the way home there's most miscellaneous stuff in here some of it most of it's gonna go off the truck a couple of them sump pumps work I'll probably test them out just for the heck of it and my favorite tool is my ladder here So yeah, I guess we're going to just unload it. Got a couple things we got to do tomorrow. Can't remember what, just what they were, but. So, may as well get the truck unloaded. I'm not sure if I got my camera figured out or not, but. Maybe I'll take a little stroll out now. Wood there in sun shining. So we did I don't know how many miles, maybe 30 miles. Which we weren't gonna get rich, but we thought we'd do that gift card to, for the wood stove and do a couple of things where we was in the area. Got rid of the old car that did the video of and 140 a ton and got a hundred or two hundred and like two hundred and ninety dollars and of course we got the four 
tires were pulled off. There's two of them. There's one there, and there's one there. Then we got the battery out of it, which I think is going to be a good battery. I'll bring that in where it's warm in the building and heat it, heat it up and charge it real good. And that'll probably be one we sell, test it out, make sure it's good. What's left of the old hood here. And we got rid of the two riders, which I was looking at them, thought about fixing them up. And this is a problem I had before. My, uh, my hose is froze under the ground because I didn't take care of them. Then when I need my torches, there's no way to get to my hoses. Guys got to quit doing that kind of stuff. That's good to go now. And get out here and do some filling with the waiting on a new new rules on the filling what they consider wetland. They're supposed to be stopping that. And this ain't really I don't think it's wetland. But I plan on filling it. I was doing it and they told me don't do that. But now they're saying I may be able to and I'm not trying to fill a real big area, just move my sand hill here down over here and do some landscaping where the water will run off. Got a few more appliances out here, but one of these days I'll take them in. So the prices did go down a little bit. And usually the stuff I take in is pretty much what I got in my truck. The heavy iron I usually hang on to. I get around and pile it up. Or I don't get around and pile it up. So appreciate everybody watching and thumbs up subscribe I'd appreciate them getting a few su subscribers on there and appreciate every one of them I try to watch all the videos I can these extruded things that come off that car I got two of them and they are actually pretty heavy I'm not sure what they weigh I used to get about 80 90 cents a pound out of that but them are all clean and ready to go and they're probably only 40 now so I ain't no hurry to take them in wander back up toward the house and see about getting this thing uploaded here's a heavy cast iron piece of iron wheel I hate to scrap that there's people that will actually buy them you just got to find them like I said before, got to find a bigger fool. So I've been hanging on to them for a while. Don't really know what I got into them. Probably nothing or close to nothing. And I hate to scrap them for 15, 20 bucks. And who knows? I might need them. I doubt it. But yeah, I've been selling a few things. I saw, I did sell the the three compressor pumps and I did sell you know, some tires and sold the tractor and sold the sailboat and so I've been doing a lot of selling and that's pretty good and then usually we sell more in the summer springtime when it starts warming up so I guess I'll let everybody go and take this load in and see how we do this is a junkin' fool from Porville. Thumbs up or subscribe. And have a great day. Go find some junk. Goodbye.